Hi everyone, it's Laura at Hyperstamper. So I just finished another Christmas journal and I'm really pleased with this one. It came from a book, a vintage book called The White Stag. And I just love this deer here. It's a typical deer image um, of, for Christmas, right? So I that's all that was on the cover. So I, I gave it a little more wow by adding uh, some antique uh, crochet bits here and this beautiful pineapple crochet pattern up here another piece here here and here so four different kinds on on this cover here the original back and spine and I had to do some repair work on the spine so I've got some antique paper underneath there and some of my vintage beads that I strung and this beautiful vintage brooch here I guess you could pull it off if you wanted uh, of a snowflake so let me show you the inside of this really pretty holiday junk journal. So these are the original first pages of the book here. And it is um, copyright in 1937, the book itself. Um, but you'll see a lot of different dates stamped in it because it was, I guess, went to a library. Oh, sorry. The 10th printing was in 60, 1960. Look at this fun plate here. It almost looks like it's a painting. The way I'm looking at it, I'd love to know how they colored this. Um, I believe it's the layered stamping on that. But these wonderful little boys skiing. <laughs> so a great winter scene. And then inside here, I've just tucked in a beautiful piece of antique paper for you to journal on. And I didn't do anything to it because I did want to have some plain space. There's another one of the white stags there. This is a fun uh, 1940s ad here from How to Make Extra Money, Selling Christmas Cards. I'll remind you that everything in here is actually antique and vintage um, Christmas ephemera. So I don't use anything commercial or digital, nothing like that, no kits. This is all real historical ephemera, including this beautiful postcard here. And this is from uh, 1916, written on Christmas. Best wishes from Geo and Lois. How cool is that? And then I've got this beautiful winter scene up here. Another uh, vintage Christmas book down here. This came uh, from a 1937 book and it's got the holly. This is vintage wrapping paper from the 50s. And this is a 1930s uh, children's book page, Santa Claus. And this is really cool here from the 50s. Um, it's a photograph greeting card that you would have sent out. Do we all remember fireplaces like that? My grandma had one just like that. There's a lovely plate uh, visit from the wise men. And that is quite stunning. And then this, I pulled this dictionary page. It's vintage because it says Yuletide at the top. <laughs> Isn't that fun? And then at the bottom, they're pulling a log through the snow. And the Z page on the back. Some ephemera up here. And then lots of wonderful uh, Christmas Um pages here. Look at this Christmas tree and the angel. It was just so fun. I love it. Love it. Love it. More Christmas here. Uh, gotta have a cardinal. This is from a vintage uh, nature book, Botanicals and Birds. So I love that piece. This one here is from 1884. Let me see if I can get that in a little closer. It's quite stunning. Uh, you know, 140 years old. How cool is that? So it is uh, a winter scene there as well and a lovely little New Year uh, poem there. This here was the um, dust cover of uh, Charles Dickens Christmas Stories, which I use a lot of those pages in my Christmas journals. And I've made it so you could flop it open. And there is a Christmas seal stamp there from 1970. Another 1884 page here. Um, another winter scene and a wonderful little winter poem there. It's just a nice little waterfall journaling spot here for fun. Antique paper. And uh, Hark the Herald Age on Sing, vintage song sheet there. This is so pretty. This came from a 1950s magazine in Christmas edition. But look at this pretty little girl in the snow there. I love it. And then this wonderful page here from a children's book. Isn't that great? Look at the color on that. That is from the 50s. I absolutely love it. Little hidden journaling spot there. Some lace, another plate here from the early 1900s building a snowman and this my a very dear friend gifted this to me uh look at this and we think this is from the 60s this little christmas card and that is the original envelope there as well find me a little pocket there the dust jacket keep that and here is one of my 1940s arborite original double-sided uh salesman samples and then 
the double-sided ones are actually quite worse. So there's some value to this, but I picked it because of the beautiful red color. And then this is just a great little piece from a 1950s magazine as well. And on the back, I put antique paper. And this is a tag that I found inside of a book because the book was a Christmas gift to Mariana with love from Georgie. Isn't that great? And it says on here, uh, somebody wrote 1962. I did not write that. So that's pretty cool, right? 62 years old. Uh, paper crafting page here from 1920s. And this is also from a vintage magazine, Christmas edition. I believe this one is also from the 1950s. Bonjour Christmas. And then some wonderful modern Christmas decorations on the back there. Another Christmas music sheet there. Where did I get this from? Right in here. There's a lot of tuck spots in here. See how every single page is Christmas themed? It was not easy collecting this much Christmas ephemera, but um, oh, I put this in here because it has 25 on it for December 25th, but it was worth uh, the wait, waiting all year to make these. This is just the flip side of this Christmas page here. And then that is also from a vintage magazine, Christmas dinners, how to set a Christmas festive table. Not fun. There is a, a poem about Bethlehem here. When Santa Claus comes here, that's the original spine to an antique book. And then this is very, very cool. This piece here is uh, from 1930s, uh, Girls Own Annual. And look at this wonderful uh, Christmas themes over here. And uh, just uh, the present drawer. So really fun Christmas stories there. Lots of fun things to enjoy. Oh my gosh, it's just so much fun. And you can do all your Christmas holiday journaling. There's another one from uh, the early 1900s in other lands, a reindeer drive. Some vintage applique there. All the toys marching from a 1930s book here. And this is another one of these wonderful 1950s magazine pages. Look how colorful that is. And on the other side as well, a little storybook, Mr. and Mrs. Claus. So you can add even more of your own things in these nice big pockets I've made. This is a wonderful science page here. How Oh, hi, Lacey. How snowflakes are made. And I used this vintage um, tissue here from a pattern because it's red and green and you really don't see that very often. So I thought that was kind of cool. Told under the Christmas tree vintage book. This is um, angel food cake and then chocolate angel cake. I just thought that was really fun piece to have from a vintage recipe book. You'll see more on the other side of that. More of these wonderful vintage magazine pages here uh, because it's a pine Christmas tree. More Christmas tissue. I did some hand stamping on that vintage school paper. That is from 1925 craft book. And then back here, it's uh, red and green from 1924. So a hundred years old and I love it. So I hope you love it as much as I loved making it. You can find it at hyperstamper.etsy.com and come back soon. Bye.